All right. Thank you for being on here tonight. Thank you for even wanting to dial in to hear what I am excited to share with you this evening. I apologize. I got kicked out of my office. So every other Monday night, we host our son's um, small group, his Bible study, which I love and I'll never complain about, but I have like 12, 16 and 17 year old boys that take over my entire downstairs and I love it. And so I don't have a door on my office, so I don't want to be in there because I don't want I want them to be free to share and have that fellowship time. So I am upstairs hiding away. Um, But so what I want to talk to you guys tonight, we were just kind of planning our topics and I want to talk to you about really how I plan my week around my family and really around the five F's that are the pillars of what we stand for here at Q Sciences. So if you are new, welcome. I am so glad you're on here. Um, I want you to know that, you know, whether you are one day in the business or you're one year in the business or 10 years in the business, um, we truly, I, I have come from this industry. I've spent eight years in this industry. I've, I've made a pivot to Q Sciences in the last seven-ish months. Um, and when we say that we stand behind family being first, first and faith, faith being first in our life, we we very much mean it. And I have watched my own layers of leadership show me that and live that out as my leaders um, since I've been here. And so our five five Fs are faith, family, finances, fitness, and friendships. And at some points in life. Some of those can get a little out of balance or, um, you know, and sometimes we need a little time and attention in those areas, but we never want our family to suffer, right? We never want our family to ever be second to anything else. And so I just want to share with you kind of my schedule. So you see, um, I love business. I am a businesswoman. Um, I have so much love and respect for all of my friends in Q that are workout gurus that know the human body, they're nurses, they have so much more talent and knowledge of the human body and workout than I do. And I love them because I, I use their brains all the time. For me, I am a businesswoman through and through. I love numbers. I have a finance and management degree. I thought that that was going to be my life um, in corporate America until God gave me triplets in 2009. And so that is our family. My husband and I have been married. Um, it'll be 21 years next month. And we have a son who's going to turn 17 on a uh, Sunday. And then we have triplet daughters. So we have all girls and they are 13 years old. And so my life is busy as a mom of four. And as a wife, all four of our kids play sports. Three of them play travel sports above and beyond all of that. We also own a franchise. And so I added all of that here because my family is my why. They're never going to be my excuse to not work. They're not going to be my excuse to not run my business. They're the reason I do this business. I want to take family vacations. I want my kids to continue to do the sport that they love. I don't think we overindulge in our children because there are four of them and they're in this condensed um, age group, right? Like not a lot of people are raising four kids between the ages of 13 and 16. We are. And so we're just in this hyper concentrated, busy, busy season of having, you know, four kids in this very close, close age range. And so um, I, I need supplemental income. I share this every time I do a QIQ and you guys probably already know this, or you've heard me say this, I grocery shop online for a couple of reasons so that I can stick to a budget and so that I can meal plan. And I've been doing that since before COVID. I sure wish that online grocery shopping was available when my triplets were born, but it wasn't. And I, have seen this, this history happen like this, just in this recession, I easily spend a hundred dollars extra every week on my groceries for the same six people, the same amount of food, if not less, that is $5,200 extra a year in our budget just to feed my family. That's not dining out. That's not vacationing. That's not just other things that gas and everything else that's gone up. So we know 
we saw the value of why we needed this business in our life, right? Like we need that supplemental income, even if my husband has a full-time job. And even if we own a family business, we want that additional stream of income. Um, and there are so many of our friends and family that need this gift in their life right now as well. And so I just kind of want to talk through the five F's and really how I plan my week um, around, around the five F's. So I'm going to jump in here and you guys, I'm just a super transparent, very, very real person. So if you guys can just settle in and be okay with that, um, I, I, uh, my husband says I overshare. I say, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I just, I am who I am. And so you will always get the most authentic version of Stacy all the time. So I love a digital calendar. I use both. I still have to have a paper calendar. And so I have been in this business for eight years, like I shared, and I always have to plan my day before it begins. I think I would have to do that even if I didn't own a business. Our life with our kids, our life with um, just the, the daily necessities, I have to plan my day the night before. But what I do even more than planning my day the night before is every Sunday evening when things are kind of winding down, I really need to map out what my week looks like. I have to do that for myself. Um, and so that's how I use my paper calendar because I need to see where are the gaps that I can actually put time slots in for my team and for my business. And so here's just an example um, I go into my calendar for the week and I'm always going to map out our family um, necessities first. I'm going to put in where I'm supposed to drive to soccer or when a kiddo has a game, right? Because I want to be that mom. I do this business also so that I can be that mom that is running the carpool and running the kids around because I love the conversations that happen in the car and getting to listen to those conversations and take them, you know, a step further once other kids get out of the car and I get to talk to my kids about, you know, the conversations that were happening. So on Sunday nights, I plan that out. If there are doctor's appointments for kids, dentist appointments, you know, it's wrapping up like end of the school year. So you may have school year, like wrap up activities coming up. All of the things for your family need to go in your calendar. I order my groceries online and I meal plan on Sunday evenings. And then I try to pick up my groceries on Monday. Then what I do after that is I fill in those open windows for where I can work. And so we have a franchise, we have a sign business. We put birthday signs in people's yards, graduation signs, all that kind of stuff. Um, we own that franchise for a, a pretty large territory. And so um, I have to dedicate time to that business, right? But then I also am in um, a big recruiting season within my Q business. It's an exciting time. I see the gift that we have. Um, and if you, I mean, I know that you're aware, but there is something to be said, and, and I'm going to put on my, my business teacher hat now, like there's truly something to be said about the position that we're sitting in right now. I saw a big opportunity back in 2014 with zero experience in the industry, and I jumped on it and was a part of a small team that brought a brand to my backyard and my network and grew an extraordinary business over eight years. Um, and a lot of things happened, right? COVID happened. Um, the company didn't wasn't super forward thinking in how you adapt in a time like that. Um, culture changed, uh, behaviors changed, products were not innovative. And then we were customers using Q products. And the business hack came on again, and I needed to take a look at, huh, the prior company had hit a billion dollars in sales. Numbers were going backwards. What does that mean for my business long-term? And so we're sitting in such a sweet spot right now that 
your business is literally like you are buckled in a rocket ship and it is your choice if if you are going to just explode with that rocket ship. And so I am super intentional about the time I build into my calendar, not just for my team, but only, also for my own business, for my own recruiting, my own um, onboarding and launching the systems and the rhythm that we have in place here, you guys is unlike anything I experienced for eight years. So don't take it for granted. That's my, that's my big message for tonight. Don't take for granted the leadership, the training and the systems. Um, so once I fill in kind of where I can work and then I know where my open spots are. So like on my calendar, you can see that there's some open spots on Wednesday and Thursday. That's great. Like I don't want to be bombarded and have every 15 minutes of my week scheduled because things are going to come up. People are going to, you know, need a zoom or someone new is going to enroll and I'm going to need to, you know, schedule an onboarding or schedule their launch party. So I leave some windows obviously open so that I can, um, work that time. And then I always communicate to my family when I'm going to be working in the evenings, just so they know, but I plan around, I'm going to get kids to soccer. I'm going to get kids to back basketball. I cook every evening. We try our best to sit down together. Some nights that's not possible, um, but we do our best, but I'm always cooking for my family and I'm always just being a present mom. And that's, that's the biggest, um, that's my biggest goal. But then each night I will sit down and I'll plan out the next day. And so tonight when I'm all finished, um, I actually have a zoom at 9:45 um because I am heavy recruiting right now and I'm not letting this pass me by but at um after that I'll sit down and I'm going to map out my day don't tell the school but like tomorrow it says girls are home well tomorrow is a silly field trip that when you have triplets and they're just going to Chicago for one day and they want like a thousand dollars I was like girls let's just sit out of this so I've planned my day tomorrow around my girls being home why not because I can right so my day is scheduled around that will I do Q will I do my sign business sure I'll do it but I can also plan that tomorrow is flexible because I know what I'm going to be doing you know Wednesday and Thursday as well None of my pictures um, totally popped in here. I have no idea what is going on with this, but that's okay. So pictures don't really matter. So that is family, right? That's that's one of the biggest Fs for me. The other, the other most important pillar that of our five S Fs is my faith. And so we have family and we have faith. And and what I had on here was a picture of my coffee this morning. So I, if you noticed in the previous schedule, you noticed this up here. I think for all of us, it is really important for us to schedule some me time, right? Like you need time for yourself. I need to get up and have that quiet time over coffee. And in my Bible, your me time might look different. Your me time might be your time, your other F of fitness that you schedule me time to get to the gym or do your in-home workout through my Q fit. Your me time might be that you love to garden and you just want to spend time outdoors. So all of these are equally as important for balance in our lives. I schedule mine in the morning. I get the kids out of the house on the bus and I sit down and I kind of like reflect on what my day is going to look like because I've planned it from the night before I spend quiet time um, in a devotional and I enjoy my coffee and, and that's, that's my my time every day, right? So super important, family, faith, your fitness, um, then also your finances. And so finances have kind of two parts here. I wonder if I just don't, um, don't put it in present mode. Maybe we'll actually be able to see, um, see the graphics here. So part of the, um, the five F's is finances. Of course, you guys know we have the financial freedom movement, um, which I'm so blessed to be a part of. But for me, the, the F in finances is also me planning my work time. And so I plan this in every single day. A lot of you have full-time jobs. And so when you're planning your week out, it looks different than my week. Um, you may be getting early, up early to do your workout, but then you're going to be at a full-time job. You want to find little windows that you can 
find those little cracks, those little gaps. I had a friend from my prior company that worked full time and she took her bathroom breaks and took her phone with her. And that is when she would reach out to people. I think it's so important to very intentionally, not just haphazard, but very intentionally be in your business on a daily basis. Find 30 minutes, find 60 minutes, but if it can't all be done at once, maybe it can be done in 15 minute increments. Keep a running list. I use the notes on my in my phone for absolutely everything. Um, and you can see here, I also use a digital calendar. I mean, this is kind of a look at, at what, you know, my, my day looked like in a digital calendar today. Um, but I also use, I use my paper calendar. My paper calendar helps me plan out the whole week in a big view. And then my digital calendar helps me for the day, like stay on task where I need to be. In those little windows where you are working your business, don't spend that time scrolling social media. That is not an income producing activity. It's so easy to do. I am so guilty of it. I actually recently watched a training that was so, so good. And I wanted to be intentional about making some new contacts through Instagram. Um, and I really was finding myself struggling with getting distracted and just scrolling instead of being productive in what this person had taught me to do. And so find those windows in those windows, um, use that time to reach out and invite into the next QIQ, use that time to start a conversation or continue a conversation. Um, super, super important, right? And then friendships. So this, um, what, what this shows you is my paper calendar here. Um, and it just shows that on Friday, I'm doing something with my son and my son's birthday is this weekend and that we have some fun things planned. So life is not all about work. It's about balance. It's about connection. It's about community. And so that family time, that friendship time, we're hosting a family here on Saturday. That's in my calendar. We're going to spend time with people. Um, Lolo gave me this idea and I thought it was brilliant. And so she started doing a, um, a weekly uh, local park workout where she's just popping that into a mom's group or popping it into her neighborhood and inviting people for free moms to come out to a local park and do a my Q fit workout with her. I know Allie's done that. She did it as like a walking club with a group of moms. I actually have done two of these. I decided, um, there are moms like me who, um, our kids are older. There are moms like me that have younger kids, but we need that connection. We need that fellowship. And so I've actually just picked a local coffee shop. I put this flyer up on multiple moms groups. And just said, you know, need that com connection, come join some moms that are in all seasons of life for fellowship, for delicious coffee and prayer. And so I've done two of these and I have made some beautiful connections. Now I'm authentically wanting to connect with these women and build friendships. So I'm not diving straight into the business, but I am, I am working on that relationship. I'm texting with these ladies. I'm reaching out to them. I am developing a relationship with them and they are brand new contacts to me. We're now friends on Facebook, right? So they're seeing what I do. They may inquire about it. And even crazy enough, like I did something fun over the weekend, which was going to a local uh, flower festival that we had in our small town and ran into a friend from so many years ago, who's actually moved away. And that was Saturday afternoon. And you guys, we connected over the weekend. She had some questions of things she was seeing on my social media. And she enrolled as my newest ambassador this morning. So connection is so important and friendships are important. And so we just need to be authentically ourselves when we're out and about. We need to have a posture of confidence about what we do and not be shy about it. Don't be shy about what you do. Don't at all feel um, ashamed or embarrassed that you're in network marketing. Be so proud and hold that posture and that confidence about the company that you are partnered with and where it's headed because that's attractive and people pick up on that, right? People 
will pick up on your energy and your excitement. And so that is something personally that I have struggled with in the past is wondering if I still really had a gift to give people. And so then I did shy away from talking about the products and talking about the business because I wasn't sure I still believed in it. Um, and I had to start listening to that little voice to recognize I needed to, I needed to make some changes. Right. And I'm so grateful I did, but the more I sit here, the more I learned from our leadership, the more I learn from our corporate leaders and I see the servant leader's heart. And I truly see this gift that we have truly to give to anyone who is willing to open their ears and their heart just to listen. And it might not be for them or maybe for no, for right now, it's a no. We know the rule of business, right? The rule of marketing, it is an average of seven to 12 touches for anybody, any consumer to make a purchase or say yes. And so I actually even have an Excel spreadsheet, which is so crazy where it's like touch one, touch two, touch three, touch four, touch five, touch six. And I kind of go in and make notes, even when we just run into each other and we're talking, or I share a sample, or I've invited them to a QIQ and they can't attend. All of those are touches. You just never know when you're going to catch them at the right time. So that you guys is really, um, what I had for tonight, but I want to open it up. Um, I want to open it up to any questions. I am so open to just dialogue and questions or other ideas. If you have, you know, something that works for you that you, um, use in your, your daily rhythm, I would, I would love for you to share that. Or if you have any questions about, you know, what's working for me, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Let me check the chat box. You guys are all so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. What do you guys think about like Lolo's idea? I mean, I just kind of want to put that challenge out to you. I have no idea what each of every one of you, your daily schedule looks like, but I just want to challenge you whether you could put together a, a Saturday morning workout in a local park or a Friday morning coffee date where you open that up to other moms. There's so many other ideas around that. Um, goodness. I mean, it could be even like a, a book swap where women get together over coffee and you guys all bring your, a, a book and you guys all swap a book. And it's just that fellowship time. It's that time to gather around people are thriving. Like they are thirsty for community and connection. I really believe that is the truth. I think there's been so much isolation and I think there are still some people kind of living that way. And, um, I just think people are really thrive, Like they're really thirsty for it. Okay, guys, nobody has any questions for me. Suggestions, ideas, anything. Okay. I appreciate you all so much for getting on and um, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to message me or um, comment on our team page. If you have any questions that come up, I'm happy to answer anything that I can for you. All right, you guys have a good night.